Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about density determination. How to measure the density of one of the regular shapes solid that given to us. I am going to remind you, if we have a regular shape solid, you need to follow by one method we call that displacement method. If we had regular shape solid, you have mass and volume and easily you can plug in the equation and calculate the density mass over volume but when we have irregular shape solid like this example you need to work with displacement method displacement method is the method we work to measure the density of irregular shape solid specifically we use that one to measure the volume so displacement method to measure volume we are going to see how it works with the real example in the chemistry to measure the density you need to have mass so if you have this object you need to measure mass of this object you need to use a balance or a scale to measure the mass assume that mass is this number so i'm going to write that one density is mass over volume for mass 51.842 grams divided by volume the volume for irregular shape solid is coming based on displacement method this method it says you need to have an arbitrary amount of water or any liquids that we work on so for water that we work in our chemistry lab any a graduated cylinder or any container that you can measure the volume can be used so graduated cylinder is going to give us enough accuracy to measure the volume of water that is why we use that one for this experiment so i'm going to measure the volume of water it's up to you how much water you are going to add i added this amount of water i call that v1 this amount of water let me measure volume of this this is a 15 16 17 and is a little bit greater than 17 so i may say 17.5.1 ml 17.1 ml right now i'm going to drop this object in the graduated cylinder and measure the volume one more time we call that v2 so here I have water and objects. So I'm going to measure that one 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, a little bit less than 20. So I may say 19.8 ml, for example. Right now, I'm going to find the difference between these two. Volume of object is going to be V2 minus V1, or you may say final volume this one minus initial volume this one so i'm going to calculate that 19.8 minus 17.1 if you calculate that you may say 2.7 ml this is a volume of our object so displacement method it says you need to find relationship between the volume of object before and after adding it to water so 2.7 so i write this 2.7 unit is ml so gram per ml so the density is gram per ml if you calculate that you may say 19.2.0074 something gram per ml guys i may ask you to pay attention whenever we work on the density we have two measured numbers so we need to apply the sig fig rules sig fig rules if we have multiplication and division is the smallest number of sig figs fewest sig figs so i'm going to count here sig figs for the number on the top so if you count that we have five sig figs one two three four five the number here it has only two sig figs so five sig figs two sig figs we are going to report our answer by two sig figs so this digit is smaller than five so we drop this so the answer is 19 gram per l any other answers any other answer for 
density of this object is going to consider as incorrect. So density for this object is 19 gram per mm. This is one real example in the chemistry whenever we are going to work on the density of irregular shape solid. So by this example, I explain for you how to measure volume of irregular shape solid based on displacement method and how to plug in the equation and solve your problem. Hope it helps you to understand how to measure the density of irregular shape solid. Thank you for watching this video.